ഗുഡ് മോർണിംഗ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു ബയോളജി ക്ലാസ് ചാപ്റ്റർ ടു പാർട്ട് നയൻ സെക്ഷൽ റീപ്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ഇൻ ഫ്ലവറിംഗ് പ്ലാന്റ്സ് നൗ വി റീച്ച് ദ എൻഡ് ഓഫ് ദ ചാപ്റ്റർ ദറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ സീഡ് വിൽ ഡിസ്കസ് അബൌട്ട് ദ സീഡ് ഇൻ ആൻജിയോസ്പോൺസ് സീഡ് ഈസ് ദ ഫൈനൽ പ്രൊഡക്റ്റ് ഓഫ് സെക്ഷൽ റീപ്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഓൾസോ കോൾഡ് ദ ഫെർട്ടിലൈസ്ഡ് ഓവ്യൂൾ seeds are formed inside the fruits a seed consists of seed coat cotyledons and an embryo axis the cotyledons of the embryo are simple structures generally thick and solid due to storage of food reserves mature seeds may be non albuminous or albuminous otherwise endospermic or non endospermic non albuminous seeds have no residual endosperm as it is completely consumed during the embryo development examples are pea groundnut albuminous seeds retain a part of endosperm at as it is not completely used up during the embryo development example wheat maize barley castor sunflower etc occasionally in some seeds such as black pepper sugar beet etc a remains of nucleus and also persistent what is that the meaning of that one persistent nucleus or the peris sperm is the nutritive tissue present outside the embryo sac functionally similar to the endosperm peris sperm is de- deployed as it is developed from the nucleus but mitosis while endosperm is a triploid examples are the sugar beet coffee black pepper the residual persistent nucleus is called perisperm perisperm is the nutritive tissue present outside the embryo sac functionally similar to the endosperm okay now next integuments of the ovules okay integuments of the ovule out coverings are hard and become the protective of the seed coat the micropyle remains as a small pore in the seed coat this facilitates see that one the function of micropyle this facilitates entry of oxygen and water into the seed during germination as the seed matures its water content is reduced and seeds become relatively dry the general metabolic activity of the embryo slows down the embryo may enter a state of inactivity or it is called the dormancy when the favorable conditions are available what are the favorable conditions moisture oxygen suitable temperature these dormant seeds will become germinate as the ovules mature into seeds the ovary develops into a fruit the transformation of ovules into seeds and the ovary into fruit develops into a fruit okay ovules mature into seeds and the ovary develops into a fruit the transformation of ovules into seeds and ovary into fruit proceeds this process is simultaneously the wall of the ovary what are the ov- walls epicarp mesocarp and endocarp develops into the wall of the fruit called pericarp the fruits may be fleshy or dry many fruits have evolved mechanisms for dispersal of the seeds now the most plants 
in most of the plants by the time the fruit develops from the ovary the other floral parts what are the other floral parts sepal petal and tissue will degenerate and fall off in a few species such as apple strawberry cashew nut the thalamus region develops to form the fruit such a type of fruits are called false fruit okay fruits are developed from the ovary are called true fruits other than the ovary the fruits are developed is called false fruits same like that fruits are the fertilized ovule some of the fruits are are the without fertilization the fruits are forming which fruits develop without fertilization that type of the fruits are called parthenocarpic fruits fruits are developed without the fertilization is called parthenocarpic fruits example banana then again without the fruits are that without the fertilization fruits are forming they are the seedless fruits you can tell seedless grapes seedless which all the fruits are there with without seedless seedless banana these are the examples for the parthenocarpic fruits okay seeds of several advantages to angiosperms firstly they are the reproductive process such as pollination and fertilization they require the water for that seed formation is more dependable also seeds are better adaptive strategies for dispersal to new habitats and help the species to colonize in other areas as they have sufficient food reserves young seedlings are nourished until they are capable of photosynthesis on their own the hard seed coat provides protection to the young embryo being products of sexual reproduction they generate new genetic combination leading to the variations so listen the seeds after germination they are forming the different parts last class we had discussed the embryo development then afterwards till the photosynthesis region because they can synthesize their own fruit uh, their own food till that time they are helping from the endosperm they are giving the nutritive parts seed is the basis of ag- agriculture dehydration and dormancy of mature seeds are crucial for storage of seeds which can be used as food throughout the year and also to raise crop in the next season okay what are the viability or the seeds okay seeds of large number of species live for several years some seeds can remain live for hundreds of years okay one example that is the record of the very old viable seed the oldest is the lupin lupinus articus that is from the arctic tundra that seed germinated and flowered after the record of the 10000 years of dormancy now recently one 2000 years of old viable seed of the date to palm foinus dactyli fern discovered during the archaeological department at king herodas palace near the dead sea that are the oldest seeds okay can you think of some plants in which fruits contain very large number of seeds orchid fruits are some categories contains thousands of small seeds similar in the case of the fruits of some parasitic species like 
ഓറോ ബാങ്കേ ആൻഡ് സ്റ്റിങ്ക ഹൗ യു സീൻ എ ടൈനി സീഡ് ഓഫ് ദ ഫൈക്കസ് പ്ലാൻറ്റ് ദറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ സ്മോൾ സീഡ്സ് ആർ പ്രസൻറ്റ് ഇൻ എ ഫ്രൂട്ട് ഓക്കെ Now, next one important portion we are discussing that is called the apomixis. Seeds in general are the products of the fertilization. A few flowering plants such as the spe- some species of astaceae and grasses have evolved the special mechanism. The seeds are produced without the fertilization. normally seeds are forming with the fertilization but apomixis is called seeds produced without the fertilization is called apomixis fruit production without fertilization is called parthenocarpy seeds without fertilization is called apomixis thus apomixis is a form of asexual reproduction that mimics sexual reproduction there are several ways of development of apomatic seeds in some species the diploid egg cell is formed without reduction division and develops into the embryo without fertilization okay in that some of the fruits like citrus lemon contains many ovules inside the embryos occurrence of more than one embryo in a seed is called polyembryony okay occurrence of more than one embryo in a seed is called polyembryony hybrid varieties of several of our food and vegetable crops are being extensively cultivated cultivation of hybrids have increased productivity one of the problems of hybrids is that hybrid seeds have to be produced every year if the seeds collected from hybrids are sown the plants in the progeny will segregate and do not maintain the hybrid characters production of hybrid seeds is costly and hence the cost of the hybrid seeds become too it's fancy for the farmers if these seed if these hybrid seeds are made into apomitic without the fertilization there is no segregation of characters in the hybrid progeny then the farmers can keep on using the hybrid seeds to raise new crop year after year and he does not have to buy hybrid seeds every year because of the importance of the apomixis in hybrid seed industry active research is going on in many laboratories around the world to understand the genetics of apomixis and to transfer apomitic genes into hybrid varieties these are the advantages of the apomixis hybrid varieties of the seeds thank you